We begin this hour with big news in the race for the White House. Last night, right here on the Fox News Channel, South Carolina Senator Tim Scott announcing he is suspending his presidential campaign. All right, the now former Republican presidential candidate says he won't endorse another candidate at this time. Peter Ducey joins us right now with details as President Biden ramps up his campaigning as he hits the road tomorrow. Peter. And Senator Tim Scott will not be moving here in January of 2025. He will not be the Trump alternative to Republican primary goers and caucus goers. He says that voters have been telling him, not now, Tim. I go back to Iowa. It will not be as a presidential uh, candidate. I am suspending my campaign. Who benefits from that? Reuters reports. In the moments after Scott dropped out, two major donors to his campaign told Reuters they would switch their support to Haley, who, like Scott, hails from the state of South Carolina. There are various reports that this came as a complete surprise to campaign staffers who were under the impression that Tim Scott was still playing to win. They didn't get any heads up and learned he was dropping out watching Trey Gowdy's show. The Scott News is not likely to impact President Biden's strategy much, if at all. He has been focusing more and more on Trump at closed door fundraisers. There are some families, though, in this country who wish he would focus more on their loved ones. American citizens who the State Department says are wrongfully detained in China when he meets with China's President Xi on U.S. soil this week. Need President Biden to just go to President Xi and with a plan, a concrete plan, to get home my dad and Mark and David. I mean, these are not cases that happened yesterday. This week is going to be the first time that Biden and Xi have met in person since that spy balloon was sent over the U.S. to eventually be shot down. And there's some other unresolved business. COVID origins, you hear nothing about that anymore. Anywhere, the spy agencies in this country came up empty, and then they complained that the Chinese side was not being forthcoming. Back to you. Peter, do, how long have we known about this? The, I watched the full interview with that young man. He said, I haven't seen my dad in seven years. They've, they've been held captive for that long? We're just yeah, hearing and, about it? And the State Department has uh, declared that they are considered wrongfully detained. So uh, there are three different Americans. They are being held for uh, three different things, including one man, uh, an American man who is on death row. He is awaiting his execution in China. Uh, we don't have any, uh, we, we don't know yet if this is part of President Biden's plan uh, when he's going into this meeting in San Francisco, but we expect to learn later today more about exactly what the strategy is from, uh, from the podium here in the briefing room. Right, and I read somewhere that uh, apparently they, the United States and China might strike a deal over Boeing so that they can sell Boeing aircraft over there. Won't know till actually you'll be going uh, with the president out there uh, this week. Peter, I, I, in talking about Tim Scott dropping out, Somebody who hasn't dropped in yet is Gavin Newsom. Is Gavin Newsom going to uh, meet the president there in San Francisco? Because that would be a delicious uh, picture right there, portrait of the two of them. We expect that they will see each other. And Gavin Newsom will have a chance to say, hey, President Biden, look at how clean San Francisco is. Right. Uh, we <laughs> have not had an opportunity to really uh, clean up the streets for the last several years, even though uh, <laughs> businesses have been leaving and the safety has been declining. But now that we've got some uh, high profile international guests, uh, the place looks great. And he admitted it. He said, I'm cleaning up because we have a summit. Right. Absolutely. Besides, then we'll go back to uh, dirt and grime. Yeah. yeah. They got rid of the homeless, Which, too. Uh, uh, on behalf of the White House press corps, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Peter, are they taking that street sweeper that is running behind you right now uh, to San Francisco? You know, they drove away because we didn't have any uh, bad polls for President Biden today. <laughs> so it's okay. Ghost is clear. Okay. Go charge it. All right. Great Thanks, job. Peter. Bye -bye. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.